A 100 year old man is proving it's never too late to come out and this brand new drag show is set to shake up small town America. I'm Scarlett and this is The Queer Catch Up. Kicking things off this week, Argentina is celebrating getting its first ever transgender news anchor. Diana Zerko has made history by becoming a co-anchor on the primetime news show Television Publica. She said, my presence challenges society and hopes that her new role will bring vital representation. How do you say trans rights in Spanish? Now coming out is a huge moment in any LGBT plus person's life, no matter how old you are. Polish actor Witold Sudowy just turned 100 and he celebrated his birthday by talking publicly about his sexuality for the first time ever. In a television interview he said, I'm proud that I'm an honest man. Witold, you're our Queero of the week. So the world is currently facing a new horizon of the Animal Crossing kind. The game has previously won over gay Twitter with its gender neutral character options, but now there's a cute queer love story. One of the game's characters, called Mary, recounts the story of a princess whose true love is another princess. Gaming, we're here for it. Up next, Queer Eye Eat Your Heart Out because the new trailer for drag show We're Here has dropped and foir. Drag is about empowerment. We travel across this country to take people from who they are to what they can be. The new HBO show sees a host of queens travel around the US and turn local people into drag superstars. Queens, you know where I am. And lastly, are you team Hannah Montana or Camp Rock? Well now you can have the best of both worlds because Miley Cyrus and Demi Lovato had the cutest Kiki on Instagram Live. The Disney stars were getting deep about their friendship and patching up any bad blood that they had between them. We connected then because I, we just saw something in each other. Maybe it was their spirituality or maybe it was just our hearts. I don't know, but... Um... Or maybe we were just gay as <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's not the most relatable thing, then I don't know what is. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to reply with your positive LGBT plus stories. You could be featured in next week's episode. Until next time, I'm Scarlett, and this is The Queer Catch Up.